Welcome back to What's Up Oxford. I'm here with Jill and Allie from Handbags for Hospice. So excited to hear it's back in person. Yeah. It's back. It's we're, back. Okay. We're pumped. Yeah. So for anybody that's been living under a rock and doesn't know, what is Handbags for Hospice? So Handbags for Hospice is a really fun night out. Um, it's um, 1,000 people in the room supporting Secure House. Uh, we have silent auctions of purses, live auctions of purses and experiences. Uh, we have a new wine wall this year. Um, we have our premium prize table making a comeback. So it really is the funnest night and it's a really good opportunity for people to get out and you know enjoy some time with their family and friends and support a great cause. So handbags for hospice ran for like over a decade, wasn't it? 10 years. We Ten celebrated years. our 10th anniversary just prior to the pandemic. Right. Um, so we're now, you know, making the live comeback and we're really excited. Excellent. Yeah. So during COVID or during down, you know, during lockdown times, it was still happening, but it was remote, right? It was online. So we actually transitioned and we lit Secure a house up with Christmas lights for Lights of Love. Oh, and right, okay. Yeah, so we, we, we really did make a big flip there. Mm -hmm. And um, we've now decided to sort of, you know, keep Lights of Love going in a little bit of a different fashion and um, bring, bring handbags, handbags back. back with a vengeance. Okay, yeah. I think every lady in Oxford County looks forward to this <laughs> I night. I know I always look forward to it every year. Yeah. Um, so when is the big night? So January 26th. 2024. It's a Friday night. Um, it's a great opportunity to, you know, have a gal's night out. Um, you know, we have a lot of local businesses that will support us and purchase tables for their employees, sort of a team building. That's how I got event. to go. For yeah. years, the, as soon as the tickets went on sale, they were sold out immediately because yes. every local business in town bought up tables and sent all the staff. Absolutely. And I was very lucky to be one of those staff that got to go every Absolutely. year. Absolutely. <laughs> And I have some pretty fantastic purses from those events. So. For sure. So we're expecting to have over 400 purses on our silent auction table this year. Mm -hmm. um, we're also having our 31 bag draw. So the suitcases on the stage where you can win the fantastic prizes inside. Mm -hmm. um, so a lot of things will be familiar. Right. There okay. will be some changes though as well. Okay. Yeah. Um, so obviously COVID has uh, sort of restricted or made us sort of second guess <laughs> some things. It makes some changes, right? It yeah. makes some changes. smarter There's changes. Nothing. Yeah, like so, that, you know, this year we will be having um, COVID-friendly food options, so we won't be having a buffet table. Um, we will be doing individual charcuteries at each place setting. Um, our candy bar will be prepackaged from, uh, we're working with some of our local businesses on that as well. Um, but same amount of fun. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Well, and you know what, if anything, that just gives a more time for people to socialize because then they're not standing in the buffet line, they're not standing in the candy buffet line. So. Mm -hmm. More, more opportunity to go and look at the purses and I socialize. Was just yep. thinking that, yeah, more time to get purses. And, and you had a really awesome auctionista, auctioneer. Yes. Is, are we doing live auction again? We are, we yeah. Are. Okay. Yeah, so Lane, the auctionista, is returning. Um, so Lane will be taking care of the live auction portion of the evening. Um, where, like Jill said, we're going to be auctioning off um, purses and experiences um, from Oxford County. And then and um, also they will be hosting the um, fund and need portion of the evening, which is um, every year, every year that handbags has um, happened since I believe 2017. Mm -hmm. um, we have selected something with the help of operations um, from the house to um, to highlight something that needs to be done in the house and raise money specifically towards that cause. Wonderful. Okay. Yeah. So Lane is electric when yes. it comes to lighting up a room. Magic. So that's really, really exciting. Yes. Um, from the experience standpoint, mm -hmm. I understand that the local firefighters might be in attendance mm -hmm. again. Well, our local firefighters have decided to make the return with us. Uh, so this year we will be auctioning off a um, dinner prepared for you and a group. Um, by the firefighters. By the firefighters. Wow, yeah. okay, and that's an auction item. It will be a live auction definitely item. Definitely be auctioning for that yes. item. So. Yeah, so, <laughs> so I'm sure Lane will light the room up <laughs> with that as well. Yeah. So the tickets have generally always sold out immediately, mm. but I understand that you have opened it up to more people. So there are tickets still available? Yes, there are a small amount of tickets still available. So you'd really want to make a move on that if you're mm -hmm. looking for tickets. Um, 
because we've made some changes in the setup of the room, we do have the capability now to host more guests. That's so, fantastic. Um, yeah. So if anybody's watching and wants to get tickets, mm -hmm. i.e. me, um, <laughs> how do we get tickets? Yeah, so you would go on to Eventbrite. Um, so you can, uh, first of all, you can go to our socials um, on Facebook and Instagram for Handbags for Hospice Oxford. Um, and then right on uh, probably the first post that you'll see, we'll have a link for the Eventbrite. And that's where you can purchase tickets. Um, they are... It's $95 per ticket. And if you wanted to gather a group of people together and all sit together and enjoy the evening, um, uh, the tables are eight per person. Eight per person. Yeah. Okay, wonderful. So tickets are still available. It's happening January 26th. And since the first event, you've been able to raise over a million dollars. We have for secure a house. Yes. That's mm -hmm. absolutely incredible. So it actually costs over a million dollars annually to operate Secure House, which is a free service available to everyone in our community. Okay. So. Well, and thank you to you, you ladies for being part of it and thank helping you. to organize it. And I look forward to the great night out. We look forward to seeing you. Yeah. Thanks for being thank here. You. Thanks. We're going to take a short break. We'll be right back.